this is Guardian. Just to give you an illustration of the different things that are in there, we've talked about Covalite, and that's white violet that um, came up for you. And so, altogether, um, the reason this is here, going going into this subject of rebuilding, okay, it takes a lot of energy to do what we've been doing this weekend, hasn't it? Compared to not doing what we've been doing this weekend, that takes even more energy. Because you get a lot of energy back. But one thing that I found in my own experience and in experiences of my clients, they come in and they're depleted. It's really clear. I don't know that much about physiology, but I can say, well, that's, you know, from my own experience, that's adrenal fatigue. That's, you know, your kidneys are wiped out. I don't do facial diagnosis or anything like that. But people come in and they're tired. And it's like, well, why are they tired? And one of the things that contributes the most to being tired is that you don't have good boundaries and you don't feel protected. So you've invested a certain percentage of your vital life force energy in keeping yourself safe. You know, so you've got you know, some percentage that is not available to you for other things. And depending on the situation and the person, that could be more than 20%. It could be a lot. So the so guardian comes in and says, Okay, yarrow patch holes in the aura. If you've got perforations in your energy field where energy is leaking out or energy is leaking in, yarrow. You know? So then I can have an intact energy field. I have a container. It's holding water now. It's holding energy. Stone circle is this naturally formed circle of stones up in the mountains outside of um, Talkeetna or northeast of, of Anchorage. And it's saying, you know, when you're in that circle, you feel absolutely protected because there's a balance of elemental energies there, earth, fire, and water in total balance. So in other words, before man came in and started changing the elemental balance on the planet, it was a completely safe place to be. You know, that was the initial message from this essence, or from this circle, is here you feel protected. This is normal. This is how it used to be everywhere on the planet balance. So we restore balance in the environment and obviously in ourselves and we can go back to that place of protection. But meanwhile, sitting inside the stone circle, I can relax. My body automatically started to relax. I'm going, why am I relaxing? Because I feel safe. So it's that impenetrable shield that you can relax, pull your energy away from the periphery, pull your energy away from defense and protection. Devil's Club is for um, the ability to say no for people who can't say no. So it's a boundary, you know. Saying no, it's a green flower. Saying no from the heart, no, but I love you. I'm saying no, but it doesn't mean I don't still love you. I love you, but no. That's one of the best boundaries that anybody can have. How many of you have children that can do that? say no to you as a parent. And you're just like, I got it. No argument. I mean, not all the time, but occasionally they're like, no. And you go, yeah, you're right. So that's Devil's Club. It's healthy to be able to do that in, in, you know, in an aligned way. To be able to come into your energy field and expand it out so you have, a, you have space. You have your own space. You're dwelling in it. Huge essence for um, so-called learning disabilities. It's really difficult for a child to perform in the way that's expected in a school situation when he's not in his body or she's not in her body. I was thinking this morning when you talk about when I was born, I was in an incubator and it felt similar. Yeah. I thought I was kept small by that artificial bone. Yeah. So this, this is the perfect... Um, essence for that, for that, you know, like I'm here, everything's okay, but I just want to push out, get a little bit more sense of space. Covalite, the, the blue energy, the marker in the energy field, white violet to bring those higher sensitivity pieces down into the body. Round leaf orchid is, um, you can't see it necessarily, but it, there's a Buddha inside that flower um, right here. Each one of them, it's a little.
bald Buddha with his legs crossed and his arms like this. So it's, it's symbolic of where's the, where's the most protected place that you could possibly imagine being in the universe, in your heart. That may not be the, you know, the experience you've had in the past, but Round Leaf Orchid is saying the ability to support in, the, in supporting the ability and the capacity to stay in the heart no matter what. So it's protecting the heart in a sense by being there and being present. So all of those together, this guardian. <laughs>